And now let's shift focus to digital India. It has become a force to reckon with and the world is watching. The most recent example is the International Monetary Fund or the IMF. It has lauded India's digital public infrastructure. It has called it world class. The IMF says digital India is a role model for other nations. And it's right. This is the golden age for technology in India. Just look at the numbers. Less than a decade ago, 60 million people had access to broadband in India, 60 million. Today, that figure is 800 million. More than 850 million people, in fact, have access to the internet in India. Every month, there are 8 billion UPI transactions. UPI is an instant real-time digital payment system. And it is reaching the last mile in India in small towns and villages. You see, India's digital infra is fascinating, and it has a superpower. It has changed itself with the times. Technology ka sahi istamal puri manavta ke liye kitna kranti kari hai iska udharan bharat ne digital India bhihan ke taur par पूरे विश्व के सामने रखा है मुझे खुशी है कि आठ वर्ष पहले शुरू हुआ यह अभियान बदलते हुए समय के साथ खुद को विस्तार दे रहा है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इंडिया वेरी बिलीफ ऑफ शेयरिंग इट सक्सेस हैज हेल्प द कंट्री we are talking about open standards. This means anyone can use India's digital infra. I'll give you some examples. Look at the healthcare sector. The IMF says it has been massively impacted by digitization. And it has. Like the COVID platform. It is India's COVID-19 vaccine distribution platform. And it became the country's digital backbone during the pandemic. It enabled quick vaccine delivery throughout the country. It helped overcome challenges of large-scale migration during the time. The world has learned from India's COVID and its technology has been deployed in several nations now. The list includes countries like Indonesia, the Philippines, Sri Lanka and Jamaica. They're all using Indian technology and India's learnings for their vaccination programs. Services in India have increasingly become paperless. Most things can now be done online, making access even simpler and more efficient. For instance, identification, your ID cards. You may remember a time when we all had multiple identity cards. Now we have one. It's called the Aadhaar, and it gives universal coverage. It has the ability to handle data of more than a billion citizens. Over 1.3 billion Aadhaar cards have been issued till date. 1.3 billion. It requires minimal information like name, age, gender, and it has a quick rollout speed. This is what helped it get vast acceptance. By contrast, how are other countries doing? with their digital ID rollout. The IMF says most have hit stumbling blocks. Another layer that has been completely transformed is payments. Digital payments, like the UPI, have penetrated into our lives seamlessly. Today, UPI is the most popular payment mechanism in India. Merchants and consumers have both इसे ज्यादा से ज्यादा वे अपना रहे हैं इसलिए आज बहुत से एक्सपर्ट्स ये अनुमान लगा रहे हैं कि जल्द ही भारत में डिजिटल वॉलेट ट्रांजैक्शन नकद लेनदेन से अधिक हो जाएंगे we look at it as a tectonic shift in user behavior where people are now willing to adopt digital payments because the government has incentivized them. India has also shared its fintech with the world. Citizens can do cross-border UPI transactions with a number of countries, including the US, the UK, Singapore, the UAE and Australia. And what's behind India's digital innovation? The IMF has the answer to that too. It says this is because of India's special focus on a building block approach. It refers to basic tools that provide tailored solutions. And this has been crucial for India because we are a vast country, we are a diverse country. The right policy initiatives have done wonders. 
India's digital public infrastructure has transformed the economy. It supports inclusive growth. And India is emerging as a leader in the global digital economy, showing no signs of slowing down. 